name is Fiona Harrison. When I was approached to produce a one-woman show of the popular musical My Fair Lady, I jumped at the opportunity. My brief was simple, to create a straight-through 60-minute show which could be easily transported and staged anywhere. I wanted to use all my skills as a performer and recreate some of that Hollywood magic which inspired me as a child and later as a musical actress. My Fair Lady has always played a very important part in my life. As a child, I was probably only about six or seven at the time, I sat all through the musical and afterwards my parents said, oh yes, we, we've got the record of this. Seeking elocution lessons. Needless to say, when Higgins is confronted by the deliciously low in Hartford, Hereford and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. I learnt it word for word. Equally as willing for a dentist to be drilling than to ever let a woman in my life. I'm a very gentle man. And I played it morning, noon and night. Let a woman in your life. And patient hasn't got a chance. I was absolutely um, mad about my fair lady. Now all at once you're using language that would make a sailor blush. When Higgins returns looking for his slippers, Eliza hurls them at him saying, There are your slippers and there. Take your slippers and may you never have a day's luck with them. I've won your bet for you, haven't I? That's enough for you. And you're plunging in the knife. For a soprano, learner and low score is the perfect fit. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have waited for me. Let them buy their wedding bands for those anxious little hands. Simply frightful. How humiliating. The original film was shot in uh, Super Panavision 70, if I remember correctly. And um, back in the 90s, they uh, realised that somebody went down into the vaults and, and realised that the, the film was actually uh, rotting away and uh, utilising uh, these very clever people were able to restore it. They were able to bring the film back from the brink. My aunt died of influenza, so they say. But it's my belief they done the old woman in. Why should she die of influenza when she come through diphtheria right enough the year before? But what we don't realise today, we kind of think things will always be there forever, uh, and they're not. And of course now we live in an age of digital technology. Eliza is one of the most coveted female roles, and all through my career I've revisited this show not only on stage but in concert. In a flare shop, stood a in the corner of Tottenham Court Road. And I'm very fortunate in that I, I bought my, I paid my nine ninety nine or however much it was, and I, I got my DVD. But you don't often realise that uh, when you buy these DVDs, that um, perhaps if somebody hadn't gone down into those vaults, we might have lost that movie for forever. If I am whistling me out the door. And we, we kind of take things for granted. So uh, in my small way, it's lovely that I'm able to uh, produce a one-woman show of something that's made such a difference to my life. I love a challenge, and it's great playing all the roles. Higgins is charismatic, Eliza is plucky, but Doolittle, he's so much fun to play and disarming as he turns morality on its head with a little bit of luck. And I hope I uh, will continue making a difference to people's lives because um, good music just lives on forever. And uh, let's hope My Fair Lady does too. I shan't.